Jimmy, we're crowned the champions of this division. As stoic as ever, but it must feel good inside. Uh, yeah, listen, it feels very good. You've worked a, a long time, you know. It, this, this, was, this was the goal that Dale walked into the club. Uh, the first goal that Dale walked into the club. And, um, yeah, it feels good. Because there was, there was a bit of doubt early season. Not, not from me, not in my mind in, in, at all. Um, we were 15 points away at one, at one stage. We were 15 points away from, um, from the leaders at one stage. So it's shown, you know, a lot of character to not quit and not give up, to keep going. And I genuinely believe we've been the most consistent side all season, you know. Um, I think we've conceded one goal in, in the last eight games or something like that, coming towards the end of the season when it's hard. Pitches are poor, things can happen. The lads... Um, the defensive unit have been unbelievable, you know. To have a, to have a goal difference the size that we've got is, you know, everyone thinks it's about scoring goals. It's, 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 it's both sides of it. But, you know, when, when, you, um, when you don't concede many, the, you know, it, it takes a lot of pressure off the front men. They can go and relax and, you know, they, they'll, they'll know that chances will come. So, listen, as, a, as, a, as an entire group, they've been great, you know. And, and, and all the credit has to go to the players. It, it really does. You know, the staff have been fantastic um, in, in setting this season up, having a plan, going through the plan, and, and the players have, have been different class from the start. They've bought in, they've done exactly what we've asked, they've played how we've wanted to play, um, and, and all credit to the players, really, they've been fantastic. And then you've got to give credit to the, to the board for, you know, backing, you know, getting out there and saying this is what we want to do and then actually, you know, doing it. You know, talk's cheap sometimes in football, but the board have been fantastic, backed me incredibly well, left me alone, um, which is great. And, um, you know, we've, we've won a league with two games to play. So, uh, very pleasing, um, you know, absolutely. And then lastly, the fans, this this place has been the uh, you know, highest attendance all season, even from the start. So, you know, absolutely fantastic to see you know, all the youth teams here today, all the youth parents here today, all the fans that have been here all season, wind and rain, and um, for, for us to win it here in front of them in a sunshine and beautiful day, perfect. And let's hope that that builds, you know, future fans, future players, hopefully, in those youth kids. So, it, all in all, um, a fantastic season, and uh, I'm really, really proud of it as a manager. Um, but all credit to the players and the staff, they've been fantastic. Yeah, you said winning the league this season was your first goal. How far can this club go? Um, it can go as far as it, it is backed, if I'm being honest, you know, by fans uh, and by, you know, the, the financiers of the, of the football club. That's, that's you know, the, 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 the nuts and bolts of it. Because unfortunately, football, you know, you look through the leagues and, and, it, and it won't be a surprise to everyone that, that you know, most of the, most of the uh, highest budgets win the league. You take, take last season, for example, Stockport won the National League highest, highest budget. Forest Green won the League Two highest budget. You know, and so on and so on and so forth, up to Man City winning the league. You know, so it, it's not all about money. You have to coach, you have to get the right players, you have to have the right mentality. But where we can go... Who am I to say? You know, I, I, I'm a competitor. I will drive and push and push and push um, as, as hard as I can, you know, and, and use all my experience of 35 odd years in the game, um, developing players and, and, and winning games as a manager to try and take this club as far as we can go. But, um, you know, at this moment in time, we'll enjoy this. We'll, we'll enjoy this tonight and then we will get back down to business on, on, um, on Tuesday, you know. Um, I believe in that a lot. I believe in integrity and in what we're doing. Um, so, um, Froome come here Tuesday night. They're on a, they're on fire. They're flying at the moment, and uh, we'll be ready for them. We'll be ready to give them a game, and, and we will be there. You know, competing with them, absolutely, because that's who we are. That's what what, what we want to do. Um, and then we go to Evesham last game of the season. Maybe with the pressure off, these boys might actually, you know, open up a little bit and really play. So I'm hoping that now because today was a bit jittery bit nervy, you know, rushed decisions, a little bit edgy, you know, and, and you can understand that when you're so close to something. Um, but a brilliant bit of football again from the corner, some lovely in the, in the play, and then, and then a, you know, foul and a penalty, and, you know, so we, we, we earned the goal, 
Um, so yeah, we, listen, we can go as far as we want. It's, it will all be about a bit of luck, getting the right players in, getting you know doing what we need to do, and um, the lads buying into the playing style and the the um, strength and conditioning program that, that I put in place, which is flipping hard. Uh, and um, and as you've seen, most second halves of games we are we are on top and, and motoring whilst teams are, 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 are struggling. So. And that's all credit to the staff putting the program in place for the strength and conditioning and the players buying into it and doing it. So we'll go as far as we can. Yeah, it's difficult as fans not to get sucked into the excitement. We, from the 36 games so far, we haven't lost to a team lower than third of the standings at the moment. Does that serve as confidence going into next season or is that something you'll think about later on? No, I think, I think the league's very different above. I think it's very what's, different What's above. the difference? Uh... Uh, more structure in the teams without being disrespectful to anyone. Better players, better surfaces. Most games will be more tactical, I believe, um, from what I've watched. And I've watched a few. So, yeah, I don't want to be disrespectful to anyone. I just think it'll be different. Uh, but we'll be ready for it, both personnel-wise and, uh, and, and tactically. OK, thanks very much, Jimmy. Congratulations. Brilliant. I to... just want to, again, thank the fans. It's been unbelievable today. But all season long, people have travelled all over the place to come and watch us play. So, um, you know, down to Biddeford, down to Tavistock, and, and that's different class. I'm sure they'll travel again to Evesham and, and give, us, give us a great send off. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, you know we, we look at what's ahead of us in these next two or three weeks. We've got a couple of really exciting games to play. Um, so keep supporting us and we'll, uh, we'll keep turning up for you. Well said, Jimmy, thank you. Thank you.